Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode eight of Cooking on a Boat. I'm Nurse Tao. Today we are making the most common Chinese dish that you've always heard of, mapo tofu. Mapo tofu is one of my favorite dish to make because it's easy, simple, and delicious. So why not? And also, it's like I can always have those ingredients in my pantry. So let's look at the ingredient list for today. You need about two tablespoons of Zichuan peppercorn. I use the red Zichuan peppercorn. They usually come from two different types. One is red Zichuan peppercorn, one is green Zichuan peppercorn. The red Zichuan peppercorn is actually for like sauces and things like that. But the green peppercorn usually into like soup, especially in hot pot. Tonight I'm using about five dry Zichuan chili peppers. If you don't like it too spicy, feel free to make it less. Here I have about two tablespoons of fermented black beans. Chinese fermented black beans. And here is what the brand that I use here. Try to show you the package here. There you go. Now here's the key ingredient for making Zichuan food, which is called Pi Xian Zhou Bao which is like a fermented bean sauce from Zichuan. So it actually comes from a special region in Zichuan province. And they actually use like the special spring water there to ferment those bean sauce. I have here about three tablespoons because I'm using two packets of tofu for tonight. Tonight I use a firm tofu. I cut them into small pieces. Sometimes I use like soft tofu, tofu is fine because I'm cooking at home, not like I'm serving in a restaurant. As you know, serving in a restaurant, they always try to like keep the tofu pieces like in whole pieces. But tonight, I'm just gonna use a firm tofu and then keep in whole pieces. But if you use a soft tofu, you can smoosh them totally fine. I need about one tablespoon of minced ginger. I like to mix really fine so that I won't taste as much ginger but the flavor is still in the sauce. Then you need some green onions. Chop it really small. That you're gonna use that in the end of your cooking just to as a gun. One last thing I need is like half a pound of ground beef or ground pork. Tonight I'm using ground beef because that's what I had at home. And also if you like to like this dish to be a vegetarian dish, you can just not add any meat. So let's get started in our cooking. To get our mapo tofu dish started, first we need to toast our Sichuan peppercorn and also the dry chili. So I add about a tablespoon of cooking oil into my frying pan and I slowly toast them. One key thing to remember is you always want to toast the Sichuan peppercorn with dry chili pepper in really low heat. You have to make sure that Sichuan peppercorns got toasted but not become black because once they become black, create some bitter taste so you want to slowly toast them so I'm gonna toast them here and then we're gonna grind them up in my grinders make sure that they fall into a powder form now I can put that in even though I'm just slightly heating up the pan right now like I say, that's about 2 tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorns about five chili peppers here. I'm just gonna let them slightly toast it. As you can see right now, the dry chili peppers have turned a little bit color. And the Sichuan peppercorn, I can smell the Sichuan peppercorn right now. So I think that I can just turn up the stove and put them into the grinder and grind them up. So that's kind of what it look like. You can make them even finer if you like. Or sometimes if you really don't like that, peppercorn cup like the husk, then you can always use peppercorn powder instead. If you use Sichuan peppercorn powder, then you don't need to toast them in the chili. You only need to toast the dry chili pepper. You want to heat up the pan like one tablespoon of cooking oil. Then you want to add in the fermented bean paste. You want to put the bean paste until the oil turns red before you add in anything else. Now I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of fermented black bean. I have about three tablespoons here, so I'm gonna add two today. 
Mix all in together. Now I'm gonna add in your minced ginger. All right. Now I'm gonna since I add everything all in here, I'm gonna add my ground meat. And I'm using ground beef. The reason I'm using this particular part to cook my maho tofu tonight is because I want to make sure that I had the juice in the maho tofu because when you cook maho tofu, the longest process of cooking is really about raising the tofu into the liquid. So you can use like broth if you like. I usually just use regular like water. So you want to cook until the meat has turned into color. As I mentioned, uh, if you're vegetarian, you don't need to add any meat. You just use the same cooking process. Once the bean sauce, once the minced ginger got cooked, you need to add the liquid and add the tofu, then you just let it sit there. As you can see, the ground beef already turned color. So now I'm gonna add in my tofu. Very gentle, put everything in there. So, one thing about mapo tofu, in really traditional Chinese cooking, you actually want to boil the tofu first to get rid of the soy taste. For me, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't because I don't really mind that flavor all that much. So it's kind of up to you. Now everything's in there, I'm gonna add in my water to cover the tofu and bring it to a boil. Right, and now I'm gonna turn it up here. So kind of like barely cover the tofu because you have the beef underneath. You can gently kind of like mix everything together here. Kind of make sure that the tofu may be in one layer if possible. Add a little bit more liquid. Now I'm gonna cover that and let it cook. So basically we just need to cook down the liquid and we're gonna check on the flavor once we come back. And then we'll add in the toasted dry chili peppers mixture with the Zichuan peppercorn. And then we will season it from there. Now the mapo tofu has been simmering for about 10 minutes or so, so I'm gonna give it a taste. Make sure that I don't need any extra seasoning before adding the mixture of zhichang peppercorn and the dry chili powders. Tastes really balanced right now, so I think I'm okay with adding the mixture of zhichang peppercorn and dry chili powder. I'm gonna get about one tablespoon at the moment. If you're worried about the zhichang peppercorn flavor, you can always like at last, if you like. I usually like to add more to the chunk peppercorn, so I'm gonna just go ahead and use the rest that in this container. So I'll add about two, probably one and a half tablespoon of this mix. Now you're almost ready. I just want to make sure that everything's all you know, stuck to the bottom. When you make Chinese foods, you always like have this like more thickening sauce. So the thickening agent uses cornstarch. So tonight I'm gonna have one tablespoon, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and then roughly about maybe three tablespoons of water here. So I dump it all in, as it's boring. And then just thickening the sauce here. So make sure that I have to thickening the sauce, turn it to low heat, so it don't burn the bottom. And my Finley is watching the cooking show again. Although I don't think she will like tofu, she probably like the ground meat. Because I have been making this dish as vegetarian, so I'm sure that tonight she's like, what are you doing? Why are you adding meat into this tofu dish? So now the sauce is already thickening here. Yeah? I'm just gonna go into play this, and we're ready for dinner. Here it is. Mapo tofu with ground beef tonight, which is my way to cook it. We garnish with some green onions. And also have my wine here. Where's my wine? Here's episode eight of Cooking on a Bowl. I'm Nurse Tao. Keep cooking with me from my bowl kitchen to your home kitchen. I will see you next episode. Until then, please stay safe and stay home. Cheers!